How has the story provided community during COVID? These are some crazy times, y'all. Like many of you, I've had fears, anxieties uh, about this season, how it's gonna affect us, my family. I was amazed at how quickly the pessimism and um, anxiety began to settle in as the world began to crumble around all of us. I felt really lost and um, just kind of what was my purpose at that time? What was God um, trying to do for me or with me um, during that time? And yet I know my faith tells me that God is still in control, that he is still good. And I've been so impressed from the very beginning by how the story stepped up and showed leadership. Church never stopped, church never closed. What's been incredible to watch and, and be a part of is benefiting from the story's quick pivot to virtual services, more podcasts. Having the story online has been um, a comfort for me up here. It's given me community. It's helped me stay connected to people that I've had relationships with. I would hop on my Zoom class and talk with my ladies Thursday morning, 7 o'clock, 7.30. They were always there. And we wake up early and roll over to our couches or our kitchen tables and grab a cup of coffee and, and study the Bible together and learn and grow and encourage each other and pray for one another. And um, I've just made such cool friends and I'm so thankful for that group. It's just been absolutely great to get to interact with everybody and say hi Sundays, have conversations. You all have meant everything to me. And then as we've added new podcasts, the story at home, more episodes for maybe God, um, I've been able to go on long walks in the morning and go outside when we're not but that's the only thing we're allowed to do. We're so thankful for the podcasts, especially the story at home. We really enjoyed um, hearing from all the people, all the staff at the story. The story helped me get to where I am in my life with God and with Jesus and just feeling overwhelmed by his love and his presence. And I just want everybody to be able to feel that. So if I can donate to the story, and it get used through missions, through teams, through creating service every Sunday. That's what I want in life. I just find it so important to support the story online and the story itself as it's continuing to reach people as we're reminded the church is not a building, it's about the body. The leadership at the story is very um, genuine and honest. Um, I think they really care about um, their members and I think they like to challenge us and teach us things in a different light that we typically hear. It is really important to our family to help support the story financially. Um, our lives have been so blessed and so changed because of the story and we couldn't be more thankful or more grateful and we see how God has worked through the story in our own lives and we just want that blessing for other people that are seeking Jesus. I see supporting the church as um, something that we get to do. God doesn't need our money but we get the privilege of supporting his work and the bringing of his kingdom to earth and to me I know to all of you just the opportunity to contribute to that um, is a blessing. Finding the story helps me find God in just such a different way and so getting to stay involved and stay connected has been the biggest gift to me and I am so thankful and I hope that we can continue to, con to spread the word of God through this and through online. The most important, biggest, significant change that I've seen from giving to church is not that God's able to do more great things because of the minuscule amount of money that I give to his callings but it's the mercy that comes out of it to, to loosen the chains of idolatry around money that I didn't even know existed on me. We look forward to continuing our support over the next year and pray that many others are reached and blessed as we have been. Thank you.